this is Josh Spicer from GameWisdom.com. I hope you enjoy this play of my Salt and Sanctuary Let's Play. Welcome back everybody to another play of my Let's Break of Salt and Sanctuary. Last time I think I may have actually broke the game as I beat the Queen of Smiles I think way under the level that I should be facing her. Now we're left with two ways forward. I also figure out how to attach the charm to my weapon. Apparently each weapon gets a charm, so I decided to attach the pale charm for increased bah, for increased range onto my mace. At this point I figure the best way forward is to go, I think, to the way we're supposed to be. Let's not step on any traps, so we can help it. And I believe it's gonna be over here. How dare you hit me! And our planning is going to the woods. Yes, the watching woods. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Miss me. My weapon has been upgraded to plus two. And just brutally kill that guy. And you're dead. Now there should be another way back to where we came from to the bottom left. It was a shortcut that I found. Ooh. Hey. It tells me we're going to need a drink. Crimson. Is this better or worse than what I have? Is level 1 light armor? Looks like it's meant for magic. Hmm. It's a little bit heavier. In terms of my weight. As long as I stay below 50%, I think I'm good. Don't. How dare you. We're gonna need those antidotes because there are poison slimes around. Now at this point, I've officially gone past where I was the last time I played Soul and Sanctuary, so all of this is... Ooh pretty much new to me. Oh god. Let's see. We don't really need willpower. Oh no, you don't, buddy. Oh! Yeah, so this is the way that we could go from f where the Queen of Smiles was. Now, over here. Apparently there's a whole lot of stuff over here to look around. Mossy charm? Oh, increases attack speed. Hmm. Let's see. It may not actually be too bad, so I am using a heavier weapon. Now over here...
is another area from the uh, from where the queen is. Haha, -ha, you missed me. Again, we'll use those main potions. And I know I must have missed some stuff up here. Hope I'm going the right way. Yes, yeah, so this is where I came from from the blacksmith. There's where the uh, crimson cloth was. Now it's just a matter of finishing to explore the tree. So the bottom left is where we'll go probably next. Ah, you didn't give me that time. That is a whole lot of slime. Eesh. How am I going to get through here? I didn't go as planned. Hmm. That is disturbing, ain't it? Get off me. Damn slime doesn't want to let go. Is that a new shield? Oh, I did upgrade my shield. <laughs> That's a little bit better. But probably not as good because I did give it a plus one. What is this? Alright, that looks like it could be the way forward. Bags of salt. A soldier's poem. Oh, that's right. That's what I need for the tier three upgrade. Back on the ground floor. Oh! As I was saying, we're back on the ground floor. I should have enough salt for a level up. Could that be a new weapon for me? Battle axe. Oh, this is better. Okay, so this is 9, but it really is 18 because of the strength scale. Class 1, so it's really 18 to 23. Looks like my roll has been slowed down a little bit. But the ring, I think, is helping out. Once we get later into the game, when I'm really high up in stats, that's when the stats game will probably be more important. Okay, so there is a troll up there. Any more of those damn slimes? Okay, and that takes us back to the left where the other path is. One second. Set the alt tab out. Oop. 
just to make sure we are actually recording. Yeah. Sorry about that. Now I'm able to use this axe because I did upgrade to Berserker too. Now the troll should be over here. There you are. Lovely looking thing, eh? So we definitely have a boss right there. So this is where the boss is. Down there was the end. Leather. Mm -hmm. Where are you, buddy? Yes. over here. No, we're not going that way just yet. Don't we need dexterity all that much. It'll take us to Berserker. I don't really need that. Well, I could really do with more potions. As I was saying, it's time to fight whoever this boss is up here.
Take that. It wasn't really that tough. But then again, I beat the Queen of Smiles like she was nothing. <laughs> well, not so much nothing, nothing, but that was a whole lot quicker than that fight. Good. Yeah. Oh, another level up. I assume this is going to be a key. Yep. Uh, I don't think I'm going to trust that message. Not bad. I think upgrading the weapon also helped. I'm just really nervous about those guys staying there. Alright, so what that means... Another area completed? What's our time? Really, only 17 minutes. Eh, no, I'm good. That other point, I can get another potion. Now there are two paths that are open to me. Effect of focus usage. Oh, another boss. Now, I think one complaint that I have about Soul and Sanctuary so far the world doesn't feel as, I think, connected as it does in Dark Souls. I think part of that. Oh, one second. Let me get through this without dying. Is that it doesn't really feel like there's all that much of an identity here. Like, it just feels like we're going from area to area. Alright, so this is where I came from. That's where I got the axe. That's right. So... Trousers are so special. That's weird. Oh well. I can already sense we're going to have to do a lot of backtracking unless we get lucky with finding like a blacksmith or something. Now, over here is the other area. Bring it to return to the sanctuary shrine you most visited. Okay. Blessed page. Now, 
where are my actual idols? Stone Margin, Stone Cleric. Head back up. No way, I can't go from here. I would really like to upgrade my weapon. The only way to do that would be to backtrack. What? Let's push fate. Kraken Cyclops. Ah, that's a big boy. Alright, so that is hitting me, even by rolling behind. Jeez. Alright, so that's the case. I wonder if I can leap that. Yes, I can. That one. Okay, so that's the attack I'm looking for. When he slides it back. I think I got this guy. Oh, wrong way. things are coming after me. He may have my salt, but hopefully he won't have it for much longer. I have no idea how I just dodged all that. I'm gonna hit. Doc Greedy.
jump again, buddy? I got my salt back, I didn't even notice. So I hit It was a range of his axe that was such the pain. But another boss taken care of. Green key. Where is the green key used for? Now oh, that didn't help me. Speedy Axe is very nice, apparently. So, where are we now? If I would guess, I think this may be the way from the other side. Now I really, really want to level up my gear. Yes, this should be... Oh. What I'm going to do is use one of my idols. Oh, I have to offer it, my mistake. It's only certain places I can offer. All right.
any more equipment load near me. Now at some point we still have to go back up to where that bridge was. Let me check our time. We are 32 minutes in. Oh, clipped the wrong item. That's not good. Maybe we have to come back around that way? Now we came down there. Alright, so we're gonna come back over here. I'm sure there's gonna be trouble around. Ah, stone merchant. Ah, here's where we can sell the sanctuary. <laughs> and now that the sanctuary is mine, I can set things up here. Did that he shows up. Alright, so let's upgrade this bad boy. go up again. Alright, so that's that. Does he sell us anything of use? No, not really. my equipment load again.
those obelisks have to be important. So we're back over here. He'll probably start to wrap things up in a minute. Hmm. That's it. What did we find? That increases salt. Yeah, I'll do that. Because when it still increases item, and that increases rolling. Now we're back over here. So we still have two paths left. We go back to the way we came from the Queen of Smiles. We can go down to that cave from where we fought that uh, Cyclops guy. And yeah, we should probably wrap it up. I just want to see what's over here quickly. Those obelisks have to mean something at some point, right? One shot, one kill. There's another boss over there. The green key. Wait, this looks familiar. Does it look familiar? Apparently we have another sanctuary. No, this is definitely all new. Hmm. Yeah, the world seems a little too... like, unfocused, I think, would be my complaint about the game at the moment. Um, I think part of it is the fact that we're dealing with a two-dimensional world. So it doesn't have that same sense of personality that you get in a game like Dark Souls. Alright, so... Let's see. The False Chester. This will be our last uh, encounter, I think, for this play. for you to do something crazy. <laughs> Come on. That's more like it. hit there. I can already feel myself like losing 
like not remembering like where things are located just because of again how generic I think the level environments are alright now it's a matter of pride let's kick this guy's ass I see you smiling. Alright, so that's the best time to get hit in. Best time. So turn around. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Okay, so again, we kind of just like came back around to where we just were. So some of these bosses definitely seem to be optional. Alright, but let's wrap it up here, because we made some very good progress, I would say. Thank you so much for watching this play of Soul and Sanctuary. As always, if you enjoyed things, be sure to like and subscribe, share your friends. It always helps out. Be sure to check back here for more great content, as well as on game-wisdom.com, where we examine the art and science of games. Once again, I'm Josh Placer. Thanks for tuning in, and next part, well, I guess we'll try and figure out where to go from here. Anyway, see you all then. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoy it, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, share with your friends. It always helps out. For daily posts on all manner of game design and industry topics, check out game-wisdom.com. To support the site and everything that I do, be sure to check out the Patreon campaign. If we can hit goals, it will mean more content for everyone to enjoy, and I'll be able to support myself and my household. If you want to follow me, you can find me on Twitter at GWBicer for updates throughout the day and random thoughts from me. And lastly, you can find me on Twitch right over there at GWBicer for daily streams most nights around 10 Eastern. Thanks again for watching the video, and be sure to check out more great content coming to the Game Wisdom channel real soon.